I'm back. I'm feeling a lot better. Thanks for those who reached out. Uh, stick around, you don't want to miss this. I finally figured out what's going on with this Amana furnace. Stay tuned. says here E2 low stage pressure switch failed to close it gives you the hot effects so I'm assuming there's water in the water in this the pressure switch holds black pinch connect improperly black flue in or inlet pipe black drain system or weak induced draft blower incorrect pressure switch switch point loose or improperly connected wiring let's see See any signs of moisture? I thought there was going to be a lot of issues with drainage, that's why I brought the towel down, but it was a little bit in there when I first fired up, but then it started draining once it got running. Um, I could hear it drain and then the pump was running, so I know it's draining fine. Homeowner said that he went outside and he checked out the vents, vents are clear, so I'm going to fire this up with the door on and see if it fires up okay. like it's going to work just fine. Okay. So I think it's everything's under warranty. I think I'm just going to replace the pressure switches and See if that'll take care of the issue. Um, I mean, our venting, our venting should be fine. I mean, it goes three inch. It goes for quite a ways. I mean, we're we're uh, 10, 20, 30. Uh, you know, probably at 45, 50 feet here with a vent pipe. Um, but it's three inch, and it all goes out. Boy, that's a big no-no. 
went from four inch to three inch and that reducer coupling right there that's for the water heater uh, so this one's the intake so I think that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna force clear these codes and then um, We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted. So we got this loose. Drop that down a little bit. Now that I dropped it down kind of sloping down more so it drains um, so before it was up see how it was up like that then you drop it down so let me right right yeah thereabouts asking me the tech guy was asking me if he was hearing any kind of water paddling in the draft inducer and you hear a little bit once it kicks once it starts up and after that it kind of kind of goes away about four days ago I replaced or Tyler replaced the pressure switches because that's what I thought was going on uh, I checked all my manometer settings vacuum everything was good but this right here is what the cause of it was so from what the tech guy says that in March they're going to be redesigning this elbow on the Goodman's and Amanda's to take care of this issue Yeah, just uh, so like I said, if you're having issues with E2, try this. Loosen, loosen the screws up on the draft inducer, loosen this up, and then pull this down. You just want to gotta go down about an eighth of an inch or so. Just enough to tilt it down to drain, so everything drains so it doesn't go back into the draft inducer. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated on this if we have any more issues. If you got any value out of this, smash that thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.